Okay. This is Bear. This is one of the most dominant dogs we've ever had here. You just saw that little fight. Bear said, I don't want you to grab me there. So he mouthed me and we got into a little battle. I'm not gonna lose this battle. A little out of breath because I'm out of shape. This is for you folks at home that have a dominant dog. Bear came to us a week ago. We're still doing the battle. I'm still doing the battle with Bear and I'm not gonna lose, okay? This dog was growling at the guy in the house whenever the guy would step over him, okay? The dog, when he was, when they were leaving, the bear was lunging and biting the guy and the guy would just keep pushing him off, saying, stop it. And the dog would just keep lunging and biting. The guy was like having to put him down. Bear would just keep doing the thing. He had no give in him. Bear has no give in him until now. Now he actually does, okay? Because I am the boss. You need to be the boss. What does that mean? I'm gonna tell you what that means. Bear's one of the most dominant dogs. By the way, dominance doesn't mean aggression. Dominance is an attitude. This dog, when my dog came out, Prince, who you've met, who you've seen in videos, Bear just went up to him and just stared him directly in the eye until my dog was like, okay, dude, my dog doesn't wanna fight. Bear doesn't wanna fight. This guy goes around his whole life, is going around not being aggressive. He's only a year, so he hasn't learned to be aggressive, but he goes around and he mean mugs every dog. There's no give in this guy. And if a dog were to go at him, he'd go back to the dog, I'm sure. No one challenges him though. I challenge him. You challenge him. I don't care what anybody says on the internet. Go up and type in dominance. You're gonna get positive reinforcement trainers saying it's not a thing. It is a thing. It is absolutely a thing. There's a reason when I have 20, 15 dogs out here, there's no fights, because I am the boss. There is a reason that Bear, except for that moment right there, where he said, I'm gonna lay down, and I said, no, you're gonna get up, and he said, and he mouthed my arm. That hasn't happened in a week since he's been here. But I also haven't tried to do that. So, here's what you do with your dominant dog. Here's the exercises you need to do. Everything you says goes. It is not okay for your dog to run your house. Now, listen, there's dominance and there's out of control dogs. I'm talking very specifically about dominance. How do you know if your dog's dominant? Well, there's dominance to people and there's dominance to dogs. Your dog just mean, not being aggressive, your dog just mean mugging dogs, just staring at every dog until a dog submits. That's dominance. Your dog lunging at you and lunging at you and biting you, not hard, but play biting you, and then you kind of telling them to stop it and them just saying, I don't care what you say, right? It's a gut feeling on whether your dog's dominant. Out of control puppies doesn't mean it's dominance. This isn't an out of control, control puppy. This guy's actually a chill dog, but he's the boss. You just sense it when you meet him. You sense it, you know it in your own dog, okay? So this is Bear. Bear, Bear, or your dog at home, everything you say goes. There's no more jumping on you. You're gonna need them, and it's not gonna feel good. There's no more not coming to you. Train treat, use treats, do everything, but when they don't come, you go get them. There's no more rushing through doors. Use a leash, open that door, they rush out the door, give them a correction, flip around. Like, this is kind of, this is training stuff, but this helps the dominant stuff. Then here's some specific dominant stuff, okay? When the dog is in the hallway and walking towards you or sitting there, you are walking and you do not change your walk. You walk directly into the dog. If the dog goes, oh my gosh, and falls over, you don't wanna like knock them over, but you're moving, you're going places, okay? Make the dog move for you. Wait, that was kind of mean right there because he was just chilling in an open space. But the dog, displacing an animal, displacing a human is a dominant move. Okay, and you need to do that to your dog. The owner, when they drop them off, when he dropped him off, the owner, Bear, come. He was jumping and mouthing at the owner just for like five minutes. And I just watched, because I, I needed to see that before he left the dog, right? 
the owner was actually kind of winning the battle, but it wasn't doing anything. But he has to keep doing that. He can't kind of give up. You've got to win that battle. You got to grab them. If they keep going, you're going to put them on their side. It's a real thing, guys. These positive trainers, they have no idea how to deal with this stuff. They'll comment maybe on this YouTube page. If you say this in public, they'll tell you you're wrong. They have no clue how to deal with this. So anyone sort of questioning it, ask them how they would deal with it. They have, they, they'll tell you they use treats, dominance isn't a real thing. They have no idea. And I'm not talking about crazy puppies. I'm talking about real dominance, which isn't that common. I don't see, I see bears one in every 200 dogs that come to the board and train. There are not that many bears in this world. Okay, bear, come, come on. There are not that many bears. Come here, good. I'm gonna let my dog out. They're now friends, but I'm gonna see if you kind of see what, what I mean. Bear growled at one of our trainers, right? Just growling for, for cause the, the trainer sort of asked him do something he didn't want to do. That's can be dominance. Okay, so we're gonna let out Prince. Prince. Watch, they're, they're friends now. I wish I would've gotten this video right when he came. Look at Prince's hair is already up. After a week of being here, look at Prince's hair. Okay. Come on guys, Prince, there. This is Prince's house. Bear came to Prince's house and just mean mugged Prince for three days straight till I corrected it. That's a dominant move. You let someone into your house and just tell you what to do. Here. Come on. Good. There's not a lot of his tail's wagging, but he's not terribly playful, right? Everything's a big game of who's boss. Everything's a big who's boss game. None of this is bad, by the way. On its face, it's not bad, but together, lunging at the owner, growling at the, at the owner occasionally, mean mugging other dogs, it paints a picture of a dog that needs to give in. He needs to give in to somebody. He needs to give in to another dog. He needs to give in to the owner. He needs to give in to me. That was, that's my main goal with Bear, is for him to actually rehearse giving in to somebody. Then he's gonna go home and he's gonna give in to his owner much easier, but it's taken weeks for this guy to give in. He, it's, a, it's a battle. And you can't live like that with a dog. You just can't live with this dominant dog. He's not gonna be able to be around dogs if, if he didn't learn this stuff. He's not gonna be able to be with the owner, the owner right? No, and they were good, but nobody knows, no, very few people know how to do this. So you gotta displace them. You gotta follow up. You gotta stand tall, okay? I'm serious around this guy. When I say something, I mean it. Let's say I wanted him to stop smelling, stop, leave, leave Prince, okay? Leave it. Go, go, go. All right, he wasn't doing anything wrong. I don't care though. Like I, I can still do a leave it whenever I wanna do a leave it. I went around and I, I made him go away from Prince. Did you see his body language? His ears pain, he said, okay, this guy's the boss. This guy means business. You need that from your dog. He's never done that his whole life to anybody. Said, okay, this guy's the boss. This dog cannot live in this world. Your dog cannot live in this world of thinking everybody kowtows to them. It's not, it's not the way this thing works. It's not the way this human dog thing works. Now look at Bear. From that, leave it, he's now like a little more chill. And that's what you need from Bear. That's what you need from dominant dogs is, is give and like, okay, I'm gonna go sit by this wall. Do we wanna break Bear? No, Bear's gonna be Bear. He's gonna be a good dog for the most part, but he needs to know that he doesn't run the show. He's gonna go home a completely different dog because I did all this stuff with him, right? He's making, he makes other dogs uncomfortable to be around him. 
Can they take him to a dog park? People are gonna get mad. It's not cool. You need to be the boss. You need to not be scared. You gotta follow up with everything you say. Sometimes you gotta be physical. I don't mean phys hurt them. I mean, you gotta grab them and say, if he went to left Prince when I said left, I would've grabbed him, I would've taken him over here and I went, boom, you're leaving. I said leave it, you're leaving. They need to learn this stuff. You need to learn this stuff. All right.